this is gonna be a very very interesting topic today today we are going to talk about the weird coincidences with monkeypox hold on y'all never ever forget so mr joe it seems that you want to warn us about the monkeypox that we should be very concerned about it. well what i'm just very concerned about is when you look up monkeypox they like to show a lot of black people but when you go to the ward health organization page i do not see africa but every time you go on the news they're showing a black person with it now let's just pay attention to where monkeypox were identified at in the democratic republic of congo didn't the ebola virus first break out in the democratic republic of congo the propaganda that you guys try to put against africa is just sickening that it's an infectious disease continent but didn't a lot of diseases come from europe trying to colonize every place bringing y'all diseases and infections with y'all i'm gonna give y'all an example before the Columbian Exchange Act, American natives didn't have smallpox, chickenpox, malaria, measles, whooping cough, plague. None of that existed before colonization. I wonder if that was the same situation for Africa. Now it is said the outbreak occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research. You know how y'all like to do research with their gold, their land, and their animals? Kind of reminds you of the movie Planet of the Apes, when the humans were doing research creating a virus that they couldn't contain. I'm just saying we gotta stop believing the propaganda that they're putting on Africa. Remember where everything came from. Y'all brought all y'all scientific stuff for research and created something y'all can't contain. Then wanna say it originated in Africa. Let's be more direct and stop blaming all the world health issues on Africa. I would say stay safe but stay dangerous.